Probably some of the craziest waves I've ever surfed is probably here on Cape Cod. Definitely uh, when it gets good, it gets really good. And um, when it gets big and gnarly, it can get big and gnarly. I started surfing when I was little. My mom well, it was Hawaiian and she surfed a little bit and my dad dabbled with it a little bit. So when we were living in Hawaii, my mom would push me into waves when I was little. Um, I didn't really get into it too much then and then we moved here and I went to high school here and then there was a little group of us that started surfing and I've been addicted since and it's pretty much been my life and my lifestyle for now, whatever that is. 35 years. Surf culture here on Cape Cod has changed dramatically um, in my lifetime. I think it maybe before I grew up here surfing that maybe it was maybe did another. It was a little different prior, but when I was younger, it was really local. Um, there were older guys that made it tough for people to come here and surf. If you know if you weren't from Cape Cod and pretty much even on the strip of from Orleans to Truro, and then some of these guys got older and then. They wanted some of us younger guys to be the guys to, you know, be the localism. And for me, I grew up traveling a lot and I wouldn't want to go other places when I was traveling and have local people want to pound me. So I kind of am welcoming to other people, but there is a respect level that you have to have. And a lot of us people here on Cape Cod, we live here not only because we were born here, but we live here because of the waves and we pay our dues to get the good waves when they're here. So when people drive over the bridge and really show up and they bring cameras and, and a whole crew of people, it's, it's hard for us locals because we all grew here surfing our own breaks w with each other. And we don't even crowd each other and we're all local people.
Sunscreen on, nice. Yeah. Ready to go. Or it's a little frozen. <laughs> 